Good morning, everyone. It's me, TSP, the spiritual philanthropist. So as you can see, I couldn't sleep well last night. I don't think I even got any sleep at all. I'm very tired. Sorry about the way I look. I'm really, really exhausted. My head's killing me here. Um, I'm not sure what what happened last night, but I don't know if it was a dream or if it was so real. I was in some place that was beautiful, very beautiful. Um, it was a place where like everything you think about, I guess, would start to happen. It was really strange. I don't, I don't know exactly what that is. It's, uh, it was odd. I mean, you know, I have a very, I have, I think on, on a lot of different uh, levels, thank God I have some scientific understanding. Uh, not, not like a scientist, obviously, or a physicist, but I have a very, very basic fundamental idea. And the things that, that my mind were able to either fabricate if, if it was a dream it was too vivid and too detailed there's no way uh the, the the person that i communicated with on there was like an android of or a, or something it was like a it was like talking to ai actually it was weird it was like speaking to an ai because its eyes wouldn't uh doesn't move like a human's eyes but it looked like it had a human body um face it was a female uh it was a, I, I guess she was beautiful african american uh, or looked like african american uh woman uh and, and remember this is i don't know what this place was but it was beautiful and uh i jumped into the air and i started floating and i came back down and i looked at her i thought she'd be freaked out and i said uh I said, what, are you freaked out? And she just looked at me very nonchalantly, but said just like her, almost like a robot. She's like, no. She, go, uh, she said, uh, she goes, I'm used to this. And I said, well, what do you mean? She's like, you're, she goes, everyone in off world can do this. It's because you're off world. And I looked at her, I said, because I'm off world. And then I stopped and I started thinking about it. I said, off world, what does that mean? And then it clicked to me. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. That would mean I'm in space if if if, if off world. Uh, if she says I'm off world, doesn't that mean off world means you're in space? That you're not on this world anymore. <sighs> then I realized I was. What I what I realized is I was in space in some place that looks just like you're on a, like here, but it's it's a ship. Of some sort, like I don't know how to explain this. It was the weirdest thing in the world. Look, guys, I tell you a lot of things. And I said the first sign to look out for is fire in the sky. And we had that sign. The sky looked like fire, literally, in the last few days. If, if, if you see me on Facebook, you know the spiritual philanthropist. You know the things I talk about. You know when I talked about this. You guys all know. You know if you keep up with my stuff, you know what I say. There's something more to this picture. I know there is. And this is why I get censored as much as I do. They're not censoring me because I'm such a bad person or anything like that. They're censoring me. There's a lot more reasons they're censoring me because... I believe that I keep getting these transmissions consistently. There's something to it. They know that I'm getting them too. And uh, that's why they're censoring me. And I want you guys to know that I get them. It might sound crazy, but the numbers that I got, they were like this listed on this side. Well, I guess to you guys, you would see it here, I guess, on this side. And it would be 888-1616. 888-1616. I got those numbers over and over in my dreams, eight 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 one six one six. You don't get numbers consistently in a dream like that. Uh, eight 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 one six one six. If anybody knows what the hell that is, I'm just throwing it out there. If you think I'm crazy, that's fine. I don't really give a shit anymore. But something's definitely going on. You can't apply a consistent uh, message through a dream. There's something, there's something to these things that we call dream that they don't want us to know. There's a reason that they can also collect images now from, from your brain. I mean, if it was if it was insubstantial in any way, I mean, completely. If it was totally insubstantial or intangible in some way, you wouldn't be able to collect an image from it. That means there's some form uh, of tangibility to it. Something. You know, there's something there. Uh, we can only gather remnants of it or, or, or the very... Uh, it's like taking a photograph of a dream. Think about that. Okay. That's like what they're doing now is like literally getting moving, walking, talking images in dreams. You know, they get, they, they went from basically getting photographs from your dreams into images, 
there is something to this multiverse uh, idea. <sighs> I'm not even sure what the hell I'm talking about exactly because I just woke up. I haven't slept and, and you know, my mind's not working so well here because I'm so tired and my head hurts and I have to teach class in a minute. But, um, guys, all I can tell you is that something's definitely not not correct here. Um, I almost feel like now that we're in some sort of Sims games or Sims reality or something, you know, I'm realizing there's got to be something more to this. I, I just can't explain it fully yet. And this is why I need to start uh, get back into uh, City Tech to finish my degree in physics. It'll help me to explain this on a level that all of us can understand it. And this is what they keep trying to do is prevent me from getting in there. But I can study here at home, and I'm, which I already started doing as well, as long as my brain and body works well. You know, these things that we have are called biological outfits. That's all they are. You know, but there's ways for people to mess with your biological outfit, and uh, they can harm you. And that's what we have to watch. I guess there are people that want to do harm and people that, that don't. That, that's what it comes down to. You either want to harm people or you don't. If you want to harm people violently, you'll find a reason one way or another. Even if you have to use morality to harm people, you'll find a reason to do it. That's a different, two different types of people. And they're not just here. They're probably everywhere out there in the universe. And if you're those people that commit violence and harm people, and that's what you do, you won't understand people that don't. And you won't understand, and you'll never be allowed to get to the places where they don't do those things. There are places that exist that they don't. As a matter of fact, your own Bibles speak of those places. All your Bibles <coughs> throughout history speaks about nonviolence and heaven, places like that. You know, you can call it whatever you want, but there, there is something to this, guys. Um, all right, I have to get myself prepared to teach a class. I'll be back on later to talk about this uh, after I finish. All right, guys, I'll see you then. And uh, I'm still very perplexed about what I experienced. I, I it was I can last last month I've had these dreams consecutively. Oh, there's a few others I want to tell you guys, but I'll wait till I come back on. I'm just like really excited uh, about something. I'm not sure what it is. But if they're saying a mothership that looks like a mothership is in our our solar system, so if there is a mothership in the system and it's on the news and everybody's talking about it, the things I'm saying should, should make sense to you. The only reason they'd be worried is that if they have something to worry about and they know that. I'll explain that to you later, guys. But I'm pretty confident in something now, and I think uh, I think I know why they censor my stuff so much now. I think I understand, and that'll all be bypassed, I believe, now that I realize that. All right, guys, oh, it looks like the sky looks a little bit better today, and uh, uh, it looks promising. It looks, you can see the sky now a little bit, so that, that that's a good sign. And uh, guys, if you're out there, wherever you are, stay safe. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. I can't get over what I experienced. It's something unreal. If anybody else experienced this, please hit me up in, 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 in comments. I would love to hear if anybody else is experiencing this because everybody looks at me like I'm a nut and uh, maybe I am, but please let me know if you, if anybody else experienced it. Also the numbers eight, 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 one, six, one, six. Why would I consistently get those numbers? What does that mean? You don't just get random numbers like that in dreams. There's something to it. All right, guys, I have to go teach class. I'll be back later and uh, let's pray that this, whatever this is uh doesn't happen again here in new york you know where the sky looks like fire again <laughs> i did call it though if you look at my facebook page or you look at my post i'll show you you'll see all the posts where i consecutively post the things before they happen so all right guys i'll talk to you guys see you in the next video much love peace and happiness thanks for being there all right